Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, George. It's pre rendered crew, Rico, Wade, Hello. and Lysander. And hey, we're yeah. going to talk a little bit about the Man of Steel, Superman Returns. <laughs> part 2. Part 12. <laughs> Zack, <laughs> Zack Snyder is a stapler. Uh, so, yeah, that, that movie definitely happened. <laughs> According to you, it happened. I, 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 it, it existed in this realm of time and space. It was uh, a movie. It, it was a series of moving pictures. <laughs> um, but how did you feel about that but, series? How does of that movie make pictures? you? Feel? I, I think it was a horrible <laughs> set of moving pictures. A series of moving pictures. <laughs> Reviews over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, we're 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 probably gonna get into spoilers, so I'll probably spoiler cast. Spoiler out. Yeah. Morning. Be prepared. Even though. Beep boo, beep boo, spoilers. <laughs> That's the spoiler warning. That is the spoiler warning. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's talk about the the whole plot line and stuff. Okay. Mr. So, DC, go ahead. You go ahead, Wade. <laughs> you want something to talk about the plot? Just yeah, like just, exactly just like not, no, 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 just like how how'd you feel about it? Like just plot. give me give me a review of the plot, the story itself. Only the story. Yes, only the story. Um Okay, then it's not going to sound so great. Then it's it's going to sound. Care. This is a review, <laughs> your opinion. Wait, it's, it's gonna it's gonna sound worse than how I actually feel about the movie. But um, <laughs> that's not how you feel. Then why are you gonna give it a hard time? Because it's, not... it's just about the plot. There's yeah. other stuff in the movie besides the plot. Well, you know the plot's the main point, and we'll get to the other play, other things soon. So go. Okay. So, from what I'm told by other people, this is classic Zack Snyder because the pacing is completely off and absolutely terrible. While I was watching the movie, I was fighting with myself that, you know, maybe this is okay because if they would have told it traditionally, which would, would have been like start to finish, like Superman leaves Krypton, he lands in Kansas, you know, going in order, you know. I was like, if they would have done that, that would have been boring. But then what we got, where it's jumping all over the place, where it does start with Krypton, but then once he lands, it jumps from him being an adult and then being a kid and then being an adult and then being a kid. And like, there's like time lapses that they don't really explain. And it's all over the place. And it, they just didn't handle it well. So maybe it should have just been told traditionally. Because I understand what they were trying to do to like freshen it up. It was just done in a bad way. I think and it... But if I think they did it the other way, like, you know, traditionally, there wouldn't be enough time in the movie for, I, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. I feel like there wouldn't have been enough time in the movie to put everything in. So you had to, like, kind of splice it and sprinkle it throughout the, the, the entire movie, if that makes yeah, sense. That could be true, but regardless, the way they did it was terrible, I thought. Like, yeah. it could have been done a lot better. And it just had this overall, because they're doing this, it had this overall sense of they're presenting you with a character, the character's really cool and interesting, now we're going to leave them behind and then go to something else. And then you're like, what? So, like, characters like Jonathan Kent, his uh, Earth dad, I thought was freaking awesome in the movie. All my favorite scenes had to do with him, but we barely got anything with him because his movie is jumping around all over the place, you know? Right. Um, and then... Other characters like Lois Lane are just like super underdeveloped because again we're jumping <laughs> all over the place. I feel then, like she went from like reporter to you know I'm a I'm now special forces and I got a plan to destroy alien yeah, ships there, and stuff like in like, ten minutes. <laughs> there's time lapses and then the romance between them reminded not as bad as the one in Thor but it reminded me of how it was in Thor because yeah. it's like well it's only been a day and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. but at least um, in Thor there was like moments that they were just like not doing Superman stuff you know what I mean they were just kind of like chilling and having a conversation and, this, and it's like, to be it's fair been, it's always been like the only times they've been alone was the really was the the, the graveyard site am I right yes and the spaceship 
And when he saved her the first time. Yeah, but no, I'm like, I'm saying like, uh, like alone and nothing, like life threatening or people are oh, not yeah, yeah, watching yeah, yeah. has been no, going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, it's just like it was, it was the graveyard site. It was just kind of awkward. Uh, stop following me. <laughs> that, <laughs> that yeah. was it. I didn't. I didn't even catch the reverse stalker roll. It was just way. like, <laughs> yo, stop, <laughs> stop following me. Get the hell out of here. And oh well, this is romantic. Um. <laughs> uh, but, uh, um, but like what would have been more appropriate because when they kiss it's like a kiss ass kiss so like what would have been more appropriate is because since they kind of just met each other and he saved her like you know she could have just gave him like a little pop kiss on the lips like oh thanks for saving me you know but no she had to like go in like this is love or something and it, it was just didn't make sense and don't get me started on the daily planet people holy crap i did not give two shits about these people because they were barely in the movie and then the movie try and makes you care about them with the destruction of metropolis and perry white and they didn't even really say her name but that was jenny olsen jenny olsen not jimmy olsen jenny olsen but that just proves how much the movie didn't develop these characters because you had to find out her name through some other means that it was Jenny Olsen, <laughs> which is the female version of Jimmy Olsen. But you, yeah. you, you're talking about the, 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 she's like kind the of girl that got stuck in, in yeah. the oh, rubble. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, the girl that wouldn't give that guy a break after he tried saving her <laughs> life, by the way, at the end, it's like, Hey, you want to go out and see whatever. And then she's like, no, never in your dreams. I'm like, I almost almost died (laughs) to you. Okay. I had the chance to run and I stayed. (laughs) Um, but things with the plot that I liked any, any scene that was in Smallville, I thought was just amazing. Like the highlights of the film easily, uh, the stuff with his dad and growing up and being a child living with these powers and learning to hold his powers back and live in secret. Man, I thought all that's that contradictory was... to what you just said. You said you didn't like the kid portions. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said I didn't like how they're jumping back and forth. Oh, and I said yeah. my favorite like character was Jonathan Kent. Yeah, that's true. He, he did say that. Yep, yep. Go um, ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. And I liked the Krypton stuff when the movie first started. That was interesting and they really <coughs> explored Krypton and gave it a look and feel that I don't think they've really ever done before, like in a Superman movie, to like really give Krypton like a a setting, I guess. Yeah. Like it didn't this just... is the first time that we actually, you know, had a look yeah. at it, you know. Yeah, and then when Zod and Superman finally came, to... well, even before that, when Superman was fighting the chick and the other guy in Smallville, that was just awesome. And then the final fight with Zod was awesome. So I liked all that, but overall the plot wasn't so great. How about that? Uh, what was her name? You know her name, the commander chick. I, oh, I can never remember that chick. She's so it's hot. Like, that's, that's 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 Marina <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't know. Like Fedora for some Fedora. reason. Fedora. <laughs> Jabora. <laughs> Fedora <laughs> Jones. Fedora. I don't know. Fiora. 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 I think I that know. sounds like I think it. It's that Fiora. sounds like it. See. This guy's thinking. <laughs> she was yeah. awesome, though. She was uh, very, that, very that's, much. That's all I had to say on that. that, was, that, was, that she was, just was the movie. She made the movie. <laughs> <laughs> she made it watchable. Is that what? You're yeah, saying? she's she's the yeah. action. She was. I the actually everything. liked Zod. Am I the only person? Like, I actually like. I, I his, like... his acting was a little weird, but I actually like kind of like the character. I think he was like the only one really fleshed out. Like, he had a purpose. He he knew what he wanted to do, and you know what? I could kind of sympathize with him, in a way. It, it, yeah, it, that, I'm that crazy. Was... Like I, I thought that was he was a good villain because he's like I could see his point of view. He's just, he's got the right intentions. He's just doing it. The, the, yes, he's a good the... villain because he's not evil. He's he's, he's doing right. what he believes in. He's doing what he feels right. is right. He's not he's not Disney evil. You know, Darth yeah, Vader. Exactly. Or, excuse me, uh, <laughs> ever Disney evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm being bad just to be bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I actually yeah. liked him. Um, I just didn't like how he approached the character and the acting. It just seemed off. It seemed I think weird. That's how, I don't know. That's just I... his approach in all of his characters. He's he's very. I don't know what. What's, how do we explain him? Like I I, <laughs> I see him like in Boardwalk Empire and all those other movies and stuff. He's he's always he's very proper. I guess it's kind yeah. of he's very. Uh, what's what is the word? 
He's a stiff, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what the, how to explain him any so any further than dead. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, let's talk about uh, Superman, the, the the main guy. What do you guys think of him being Superman? I that okay. I'm glad you brought this up. I'm actually sort of retroactively dis- disappointed because I w- listened to an interview the other day and I found out that he is also British and I am uh, and I'm very 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 <laughs> upset so because all of my heroes like Wolverine is Australian, uh, <laughs> Batman is also British. So I'm like, yo, you, what's going on? So you're shattering my dreams. Andrew but, Garfield is British too, I think. Yes, Spider-Man. absolutely. Spider Man is also British. Good catch. But um, I thought he was. I thought he was really good. You know, what I mean, he has the the perfect like proportions for Superman. Like he has like the right length uh, abdomen and like the right proportions, <laughs> like torso and shit. It's so you were, weird. You were examining his anatomy, weren't you, uh, Rico? As an artist, it, was, an artist. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was hard to miss. Though it's it exactly you. That is true. That guy had his shirt off. With like eyes, other, it is every... impossible to not notice that he has been to the gym once or twice in his life. <laughs> <laughs> At least. Only a few times. <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple times. And I think I'm done. I've reached maximum potential. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like the cockiness that he brought to Superman. I, I was sort of not really used to seeing that side of him before. And he just has this sort of like, yeah, I don't really give a fuck about what you say. I'm Superman. Fuck your Predator missile or your Predator drone. And that I kind of like that about him. How, how He just, he carries that, yes, I'm a hero and... No, I'm not afraid of you. I understand your position. I respect your position, but I do not accept it. And that's what I liked about his approach to the character. The one thing I, I I'm uh, I'm sorry, Lysander, you you tell me. I haven't heard from you pretty much all. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Superman? Um, I felt that the the character of the movie. No, no, I'm I'm talking about the character. The character, um, I didn't. He was actually wasn't even like the centerpiece. I, I I felt he gave like a very dry, a very monotone, like performance. He didn't say much. Like he was he was there, and he's like, oh yeah, um, I'm saving people. <laughs> yeah, like I'm saving people. Um, and, <clears throat> there was a lot of unexplained things about him, like the whole thing where they 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 that Superman doesn't kill. You're pretty much supposed to know that based off like comic books or the cartoons they don't explain that so at the end when he goes through that giant struggle when he's you know he doesn't want to kill zod yeah like you don't if, if you that was just, what i was gonna bring up i was like, like wait, wait what <laughs> what like they don't they don't say that like they don't where's that part of the movie where like you know the reason why he didn't want to do it is because superman has that but they don't explain that in the movie another thing <clears throat> sorry about that another thing they, they didn't mention is uh Hold on. <clears throat> Superman's love uh, for, you know, saving lives. Like, the whole point in uh, in the Superman Returns video game. Yes, I'm bringing this up. Um, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't have health in the game. He ha- The city had health. And he's supposed to care about the city. And in, uh, I think it was Superman versus the Elite. When, when they're trying to fight at a certain point, he's like, you know, let's go out of here. Let's go, you know, to a safer place. Like, somewhere away from the city. And then when all this shit is going on and the whole city's destroyed, yeah. Hey Lois, let's let's make out for twenty minutes real quick in the middle of rubble when there's probably people dying. Like help! Hold on, guys. <laughs> My leg. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make. So again, that's another thing that they don't explain. Like Superman really, really cares about like the city and like it, he just felt underdeveloped. But again, that goes back to the whole thing that Wade was saying is they were they were trying to do too much. They're trying to accomplish too much. They're trying to build Lois's character, which. They're trying to build um, the the uh, the reporter people. Like they were just trying to do too much. I feel so. Superman felt underdeveloped. Lois felt underdeveloped. Every character felt underdeveloped, and that was my issue with the movie. It's like you should have. This movie should have been Superman's origin, and it should have been centered around Superman. And maybe mention Lois at the end and save her for part two or part three or whatever. But like Superman is a rich character, and they didn't. They didn't. You know. Dive wait, wait, into wait, his wait, history. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, did you just say Superman is a rich character? <laughs> I I okay. Hate, I whoa, hate whoa, Superman, whoa. but I know Wade could find some bull crap whoa. out of his ass that's whoa. good about Superman. Superman is a very rich character. He's see, been around see? for 75 years. All that right. That does not that does not define him as rich. Could you please describe to me what qualities about him that makes him a rich character? 
Okay, what what is defined as rich to you then? A character with a lot of substance to them who has depth to their existence. Okay, Superman, because he's from an alien planet, has always felt like a loner, an outsider, okay? And he's come to the Earth. He's basically sent to Earth to be a savior, of a, to be our savior. That's Fish a lot out of, of water storyline, it is extremely common. It's, not, it, it's nothing special. Oh, carry on. Okay, well, okay. it's All nothing right, guys, special guys, for a guys. comic that came out 75 years ago. All right. But anyways... Get back but, to the movie. All right. Okay. Uh, God damn it, guys. You guys got to... I personally think that um, I actually disagree quite a bit with almost everything. I thought the movie was was very, very well done. I do agree with everyone as far as like the pacing, because even I said to myself at the beginning of the movie, like he saw the suit and the next the next um the next frame he's in the suit. I'm like, wow, that didn't really take much convincing. He's just like, what am I doing with my life? What I wanted to point out was that one scene when he's with his uh, his dad. Uh, mm-hmm. Or his his human dad, and you know he got into you know right before he died or whatever in the tornado, they got into that fight. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, there he was just like kind of defiant and resistant, and like how he's pretty much the entire story, him hiding himself or whatever. He's defying his his purpose to help people or whatever, blah blah. blah. And then he goes there and he gets a suit. He's like, oh, that's a nice suit. I'm gonna put him on. And now I'm, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's just like it was. It was very quick. Like I, I thought it was quick too. So I, I totally agree with you with that scene. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, I thought it's 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 a Superman story. It's like wh- how in depth could it really be? Right. I'm different. I'm stronger than everybody else, and I'm a woe is me. That 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 is the <laughs> essence of Superman. That is the essence of almost every Superman story. So that is pretty much to be expected from this. And. The only thing that that's pretty much the only gripe that I would have about it is at the beginning, yes, it's a little bit rushed that they were doing that. But I thought the flashbacks were perfect. They were they I didn't find it disorienting at all. It was super easy to follow. And right at as soon as the movie hits the middle section, the climax, it becomes completely fast paced and it's an absolutely great movie. And this is coming from someone who absolutely hate the character of Superman because he's fucking lame. <laughs> nice. Um with what well said. The, with what Lysander is saying, and I've heard a lot of other people complain about it, um, but to me, I look at it as two things. Number one, this is super, like Superman. This is his first fight, and he really doesn't know how to use his powers. So like while he's fighting Zod, things are just getting destroyed naturally because he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, um, but I, I I still think it's his concern wasn't the people yeah, his, first. It's his, like that his, one scene with Lois bothered me so much because, like you said earlier, is the kiss was such a passionate, like intense kiss, and people there's like four million people dead around him, and that's like he's not like, hey Lois, let's say this. But for I later. mean, is was it apparent because this is a Superman movie? Because I feel like in most movies when this stuff happens, no one's ever like, oh no, think of the people they're dying. It's very true. I, I, I both of you guys, I think, are right. I mean, but it's it seems just out of character. Knowing Superman's character, it just exactly. seems out of character that he's. Well, you know, yeah, I, and I agree with that, and I agree that Superman would care about the people, yeah. but it, I just felt like this movie was just trying to ignore some of those Superman right, tropes. Right, right. I do think their it was just own yeah. thing. They're doing it for 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 special effects reasons. They wanted it to look cool, I guess. I don't. I, it, it it wasn't their well, concern. Wasn't really. Wait, what about these people in these buildings? Do you think yeah. they would evacuate in this short amount of time span? And th- that also brings me to another thing I noticed to it was like no battle damage. Like Superman doesn't bleed, Zod doesn't bleed, like yeah. none of their clothes get there, ripped, nothing. There's an explanation for that in the Superman mythology, but I won't even bring it up. It, because it wasn't explained in the movie, but it, what? never mind. It seemed like God <laughs> just like automatically, instantly figured out how to be on freaking whatchamacallit. Instantly. I mean, he he he's. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. He's oh, like focus. I oh focused. got it. I oh got it. <laughs> I've been focusing my powers for years. He didn't have it right away. He had it like the second or the third second time tri- he was on Earth. Yeah. Second well, try, exactly, but still. Because he figures out that he's like, wait a minute. Um, what the hell's going on with me? And then he leaves. And then he goes down and does his little focusing thing. And oh, then he fixed done. it. Fixed it. Now I'm on. <laughs> Let's fight. Now, but see, the fights, can we all agree that they were amazing, though? Um, like, I, I, really... think, I think What's-Her-Name's fight was amazing. Uh, yeah. Hot Kryptonian chick. <laughs> um, yeah, Fiora was definitely, like, she, was... she led the charge. So... Yeah, that was, she was, that was, I think it was more noticeable than the, the 
the the Zod fights. The Zod fights, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I loved all the fights, and I really thought like, man, this really is like two gods going at each other. And then I was like, Dragon Ball Z. The people yes. who made these special effects and the fight uh, choreographer, they need to get on a Dragon Ball Z movie ASAP. It but reminded anyways, me of. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. It reminded me of the um the Matrix um fight between Neo and Smith. At yes. The end. yes. Yes. It's, it's yes. like an advanced version of that. Um, bah, 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 bah. And just in general, I was blown away by the special effects. Like, I was really legitimately impressed by how everything looked and felt. And I felt like I was seeing, like, the next level of CGI in movies. I was really impressed. Absolutely. The um the spaceships from Krypton, those were, like, really, really well done. And Krypton itself, just to see animals from Krypton was yeah. ridiculous. I thought they were from Avatar, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I liked uh, how um, in the background you could see like a like a destroyed moon just like floating in the background, giving more backstory yes. to like the destruction of Krypton. I thought that was a good yeah. addition. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, and I just want to bring up like uh, another point that's more in line with what, what Lysander was saying. There's a lot of people like it's fine if you don't like the movie because it's just anyone's opinion. But I only take issue with people who don't like the movie because of how different it is from Superman. And the reason why it bothers me is because you were given Superman Returns, all right? They made Superman <laughs> Returns for you. Superman <laughs> Returns is classic, cut-and-dry American uh, Superman. America, forgot to work dude. out Superman. <laughs> yeah, forgot to work out Superman, but classic cut and dry Christopher Reeves 1970s era Superman you got in return. Stalking, and you, stalking Lois and, 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 and Yeah, <laughs> and you all hated it, and the movie was trashed, alright? So then what did Warner Brothers do? They listened to the fans, and they gave you an action-packed, dark, serious Superman movie in it. I just feel like some of those same people are still... Serious are still complaining and it's like well you 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 just there's we can't make everyone happy. I, I don't think the thing that people are complaining cuz it, it's not superman or whatever it's it, they're complaining because it wasn't that great of a movie right like, that's damn. fine but i'm saying there's some people that like i saw a post on tumblr that had a superman returns picture and it's like oh superman in this movie is only saving people and lifting things why doesn't he fight anything and then it shows man <laughs> of steel and it's like oh all superman does is fight people he doesn't save anyone and it's like you know you can't i don't know it's because of that's just what happens always with comic book movies. Given the the length that they've been around, there's so much feelings already attached to the character that people don't leave that at the door when they go to see the movie. So they always end up comparing it to all the reference they've have previously, and that just that just makes it impossible for the movie to ever live up to all that you've already had in your head. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to say like. I'm not. I'm not trying to like poop on Lesaner's opinion because uh, he was right and he's entitled to that. I'm. I'm more attacking Superman fanboys who are just outrageously attacking this movie based off some super old Superman mentalities, and it's bothersome. But yeah. All right. I... So okay. Well, let's let's go into a, a review grade or whatever. Lysander, give um, me a score and tell uh... me see it, skip it, maybe rent it. I'll Maybe give it a, HBO it. I don't know. I will give it a, a D. I'll say Oof. skip it. I, I found the movie like just wrong. I wish it would have been an origin story because my, my two favorite characters were both of his dads, Russell Crowe and uh, Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. Yeah, they were the centerpiece of the movie. Those characters were awesome. And whenever it had either of them, I was like, this is pretty good. Because again, <clears throat> I feel like it should have been an origin story. It would. It, it anytime they did, they went back to when he was a kid. I enjoyed those scenes probably the most. It showed the struggles, you know, that Superman went through, and I found it entertaining those scenes. And then it got, you know, a little bit further, and it went to the whole reporter and his love life, and everything just felt kind of rushed. So the pacing was bad. And then it kind of picked up at the end during the action scene. So the middle two hours, pretty much, <laughs> was horrible. But then, like the little half hours at the beginning and at the end, it was it was good. So that's where it gets, I guess, the the D plus. Just pass it. Rico? Wow. Oh, I'd give the movie. Uh, let's see. 
I give it like an A minus. I thought it was a great movie overall. Fan- it, contrary to what um, Lysander says, I think it's a fantastic origin story. It tells the story of where he came from, how he, why he decided to be who he was, and what happened when he got there. Yes, there were a lot of little things that you probably that, that were, the timing is definitely very very weird. Especially the the good thing you guys mentioned, like the the lowest thing, like it, literally they were together for like ten minutes throughout the course of the movie in real time, and then they're like making out at the end. So. Overall, I'd say the movie has minor pacing issues, um, but it's a great movie. It's a fantastic action movie. It's a summer blockbuster superhero film where he punches stuff. It is great. Go see it. <laughs> True. But, you know, I, I just want to compare this to the other blockbuster that came out, which is uh, Iron Man. I think there was... A, oh, boy. I feel like Iron Man had a little bit more charm, which is... I think all Marvel movies have a little bit more charm than the, the their... <laughs> Agreed. Their, uh, Darker DC call? counterparts. Yeah, but then again, you know, Batman has more of a, a well thought out plot line, kind of not the Dark Knight Rises, but like Dark Knight. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I, I find Iron Man was a lot better than this one, simply just due to character. Like, I mean, B- Rico's speech about how they handled the character and everything that I mean, pretty much it explains all of yeah <laughs> uh all of uh, the Magic. differences between this film and, and and iron man 3 i mean i don't know but uh no no i agree with you it's like that but that's the thing with me because i hate superman i didn't expect him to be anything more than i'm strong oh yeah 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 Ooh. definitely I, I went in with the same mentality i was like this is a superman movie <laughs> exactly and it, it met my expectations of a pretty superman much movie. <laughs> It was bland and, and full of special effects. <laughs> uh, but so you say, see it, A minus? Yes, sir. Or oh, you said I, A minus, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Wade, go. Can I give it a number grade instead of a letter? <laughs> you oh, give it whatever you want. All Just right. Tell well, me, see it or skip it. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I think I'm pretty sure I prefer this movie over Iron Man 3, um, if only just a little bit more. But um, I want to give this a 7 out of 10. I know I sounded way more negative when I was talking about the plot, but I love uh, Henry Cavell as Superman. Uh, I hope he stays Superman in any future incarnation. I really think they're on the right track. I don't think we got there yet, and it's not perfect, but we're definitely on the right track. I love the action. Um, I do like the acting overall, ex- even though some of the characters weren't uh, developed well. I just didn't really like Zod. Um, all the emotional scenes I really thought hit hard, like when Jonathan Kent dies, when Superman has to kill Zod. I thought all that stuff was... No, don't even say that. Don't say that his emotions hit hard with that one. Because I think it did. There was no... There was no, there was no uh, context yeah they didn't explain was, they it they didn't like, explain why, that it was why like, was that a big deal to him yeah he's I, screaming me, and going crying and then it was like to me it was, was enough he just had a m- it was moment. enough that it showed how me- upset he was he had to do that that you're like but, you, you see, at least but, knew that he cared but that's because you know that about superman they didn't explain that at all to anybody it's like what what yeah. why is he why is he mad that he killed the bad guy that's what you're supposed to do yeah, that's a but very, have, very fair. I assessment. was sitting, I was sitting next to a girl, and she didn't understand that. Like, she's like, "Why is he crying that he killed the bad guy?" I'm like, <laughs> "Well, you see, Superman doesn't kill, and they didn't explain that, and blah blah blah." You get what I'm saying? Like, but it could, I mean, but then your first you, you said, like, "Well, this was a bad movie." Well, you, you said superheroes. That why didn't why is he crying that the superhero killed the bad guy? How many superheroes kill the bad guy though? Unless you're like Wolverine or Punisher, you don't. Or any Deadpool, Marvel there's hero. tons of people yeah. that kill. Like that's there's, that's there's not, like, but, Marvel don't believe in, 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 in saving the villain. You know, what? let's kill them all. <laughs> uh, well, um, as I'm continuing, um, I really liked everything around it except for the pacing. Um, and I like I said, we're definitely on the right track. I love. Well, I love and hate the references to the other characters because they were so brief and barely anything, but I'm glad that they were there because it keeps me hopeful for the future. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So you're giving it a 70%? C. A C plus. Okay. Or so C minus. Do you see what, you, do you see what I just did with your, <laughs> your out of 10 thing? I just think 7 out of 10 sounds better than C, but... Did, did you, but did you see what I did there? I saw what you did. Okay, because before you gave uh, Iron Man a 5 out of 10, thinking that was an average grade. 
I still think five out of ten should be considered. I just you just said seven out of ten is a C. <laughs> In everybody's brain, a C is an average grade. I'm just yep. saying. I'm just saying. All right. And I'm gonna agree with you. I'd give it a C. Um it it it's watchable. I, I think this is not a movie that y- I wouldn't go to the movie theaters for this one. I mean, it's a big spectacle and all that stuff, but it, it's you might come out disappointed when you watch it, and you might feel like you waste your ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> even though if you're listening to this, you already did. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Got double the time <laughs> uh, but yeah, this it, it I don't. It it's on the right track. I can see where they're going with it, but again, you know, you had Rob Schneider do it, so it, there's gonna be Zach. Zach. Oh, Zach. Zach. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Zach Snyder. Rob Schneider's his That Snyder. explains a lot. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, Zach Snyder. Uh, yeah, Zach Snyder directed it. Uh, all right. Zach Snyder directed it. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it is what it is. 300 was really his only solid movie because that movie was pretty much done with him or done for him because it was in paper format and yeah anyways but uh i think i think i've been tainted by marvel movies i guess <laughs> i think so i mean yeah just, it's just you look, you look, at, like you look at spider-man one you look at iron man one you look at any one movie and the entire purpose of the first movie is character building like let's build this character even though thousands and millions and just a billion people know the character's origin. Let's retell it. While in this movie, it's like, let's tell Superman's origin in half an hour, and, and the rest, it's gonna. We're Ready, gonna tell. Go. We're gonna tell the reporter's uh, story for half an hour, and then we're gonna tell the three General Zod story for a little bit, and we're gonna tell his parents' story for a little bit. It just felt like they went too many places instead of like the Marvel movie. Like you look at Iron Man one, and the whole movie is about Tony, like his struggles and all his crap. And then you look at Spider Man, and it's the same thing. And even the first Batman is like the whole movie is dedicated to like Bruce Wayne and him training and him becoming Batman. The whole movie. While and they Superman- also explain why he doesn't kill anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while this movie is like. He's a kid. He struggles. He gets a suit. Bam. He's Superman. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I mean, it's... I really didn't feel like he was Superman until the very end, though. Like, even though he had the suit, he wasn't acting like Superman until, like, after the Zod stuff, I felt. Like, when he destroyed the satellite in that conversation, that was a very Superman-esque conversation to me. I don't know. Maybe, but I guess that that's where I get my, my grade comes from. It's Marvel movies have done it right. <laughs> Uh yeah I, again yeah that it, it's so I guess we got so you're gonna say see it uh Wade yeah it, that, I think even if you're just a fan of special effects and CGI you should definitely give it a look uh, that's a terrible thing to say but all right <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think so how <laughs> I, I don't know that's just uh, whatever well of uh, course if you love Superman you're gonna watch it and then if you're like Lysander who's jaded by superman and the superman things no that... you can't blame him for being jaded like we, we all equally hate superman i mean you probably no no i don't the only one that likes him like it, what's his name uh, rico hates superman i hate superman lysander i superman. hate superman i went to the midnight release for this i was like yeah. holy crap <laughs> look i love saw the, the trailers the previews like holy shit a Superman movie that actually looks good. I'm excited for what they're going to do with Superman. And then what they did with Superman wasn't yeah. Superman, in my opinion. There you go, Lysander. That's that's where you went wrong right there. You, <laughs> you got caught with the trailer, and you raised your expectations. God damn it. Yeah. The yeah. Spider-Man 3 effect. The Spider-Man 3 effect. The oh. trailer looks good. The movie looks ass. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, but like I'm saying, I'm like he he doesn't like it, but yet Rico, I mean, Rico loves it. So, I mean, well. I wouldn't say love, but he, he, he gave it good. an A minus. That's a yeah. high grade. I like it. I, I like yeah. it. So I it has mean, its issues, but I like it. You can't blame him being jaded towards Superman. No, I'm saying I would tell a fan like that, like, hey, this has really cool fight scenes and good CGI that you might enjoy. That's what I was pointing <laughs> but out. You know, like what movie? What summer movie doesn't have that nowadays? You can't. You, you can't just. But I, but I was. Anymore. I'm saying though, I really thought that this the Transformers was like effect level. is gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, we can't be won over by you know 
fighting robots except for Pacific Rim because that looks yes. fucking awesome yes. and I know Stop. it's gonna suck so bad. <laughs> you it doesn't job. matter. What happened? No, still... you forgot job. Job. You said Pacific Rim without job. It's Pacific. Oh, Rim. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right. Well, I guess that that'll be it for. Well, what's Pacific your grade, George? Rim. Oh, my grade. I already said it. It was a C. Oh, C. 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 Yeah. I said skip it. Wow. I wait until wait until it comes out on. So you so... mean you mean to say rent it? Yeah, I said, wait until it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> until it comes out on Betamax or whatever the, whatever the, those things are called. Blu-ray players, there you go. There we go. But yeah, definitely, yeah. Anyways. Uh, so what's two next? skips and two Cs then. Yeah, we, we're split down the middle on this one. All right. Um, before it would have been majority rules. I'm glad you're here, Lysander. Yes. <laughs> uh what's, what's oh. the next film that we're going to be doing? Uh, is, is it World Probably World specific World Rim. Rim. Pacific, Pacific Rim, Rim or Rim. World War Z? You guys want to do World War Z? Uh, some people have been trying to convince me to go see it this weekend. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. All right. Anyways, uh, you guys <laughs> take it easy. Uh, we'll we'll see you next time. Peace. Later.